While studying the forward stride, we will illustrate the four steps for controlled power used in every hockey stride. We will highlight these steps in each skating section. Wind up, push, follow through, return. To generate power on the ice, we must first wind up. In hockey, every stride begins with 100% of your body weight balanced over your pushing foot. The foot you are pushing off of begins directly under your body with a 90 degree knee bend. When skating forward, your heels join together to form a letter V. This wind up or V position forces your toes and knees to point out, which helps create your grip to the ice. We return our feet back to this V position at the beginning and end of every forward stride, maintaining a diamond shape between your legs throughout the entire motion. Once you have wound up or coiled up like a snake ready to strike, begin your leg extension. Push out against the ice with the grip you've created in your wind up. On the ice, it's very simple. We move by straightening a bent knee. The more you bend, the more you can straighten, the further you go. Continue thrusting the pushing leg out and behind you until it is completely locked and extended. This push, like every push in hockey, finishes toward the front of the blade with your ankle flexed and extended out. We call this the toe snap. The toe snap occurs at the end of every stride in hockey. Your toes and knees remain pointing out to the side, not in front of you throughout the entire motion. Simultaneously swing your arms forward and back, extending the same side of the body. If the left leg pushes back, the left arm thrusts forward. Return your pushing foot back to the V position, keeping the blade of the returning skate no more than a half inch off the ice. Maintain the toe and knee out position. Remember not to wobble up and down or side to side. Your head remains completely level throughout every stride in hockey. Remember to begin with deep knee bend. Then wind up, push to full extension and return the pushing foot back to the V position. Let's look at a few common skating mistakes. High kicking. Notice the pushing foot has finished high in the air with the toe pointing down toward the ice. His foot should be no more than a half inch off the ice, extended to full extension with the toe and knee pointing out. Railroading. This is one of the most common skating mistakes. A railroader completely misses the windup and therefore most of their power and control. This is a common mistake because a wide base is quite comfortable to most developing hockey players. Think about long reaching strides and train your feet to always return directly under your body. Wobbling. This player's head level moves up and down as a result of his high kicking. The energy to move your head up and down comes directly from your legs. If your head moves up 10 inches, your leg extension will be 10 inches shorter. Do not waste your hard earned power moving yourself up and down. Skating is 90% of the game of hockey. Unfortunately, correct skating motions are completely unnatural and becoming a skilled skater requires more than just ice time. All the ice time in the world will not make you an NHL superstar. You must train with hockey smarts. Every time you hit the ice, remember that having fun is number one. However, if you're serious about improving, you must always concentrate on precise skating technique. Yeah!